Holy shit. It's a it's another podcast. Would you um, look at that? With me and me. Yeah, exactly. We're here. We're both here. This is number 230. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I always have to say that. Make you know, make it a point. Think Each about week this. We're here is a blessing from God. It is. And think about this, Ryan. Okay, I'm thinking hard. Think about a series of 10 episodes 23 times. That's what it is. <sighs> My brain can't do it. That's crazy, right? Or a series of 23 episodes 10 times. Oh, holy. However, you, if we broke this podcast into seasons, we'd be on season 23. Ooh. Or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. We should go back and break it all up. Have you been watching anything? Speaking of watching stuff? Yeah. Segway? I've been watching you... Uh, Look like an ass. What? what I'm sorry. That, that, that was. Mean? I couldn't think of anything funny right there. You couldn't. Well, I'm, oh, that was a legitimate question. You could. Ask, yeah. You could actually answer with a legitimate answer. You don't have to. You don't have to. You I have watched. To hide, you don't have to hide your pain <sighs> to the guise of a joke, Matthew. I'm um, sorry. Uh, I've been watching <sighs> Night Stalker, which is a docu series on Netflix. It's like four or five episodes, I think, and it's about. Uh, the Night Stalker who was a serial killer in LA in like the 80s. Are you just like, how did the madman do it? Dude, the he mad did some lad. fucked shit. He did some like, and he, and he was doing it like every other day. Like he'd go on like sprees where he'd kill like two people in one day and then like the next night slash someone. Is this why I've been hearing more about like Sigma males recently? It was because of this documentary? What's a Sigma male? Oh, only only the best kind of male. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, is that better than an alpha male? Yeah, it's 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 a less douchey alpha male. It's like someone who's so confident they don't have to act like a dick. Dude, that's and so that's a way for like people like who are probably self conscious or whatever in a little way to be like, oh, I'm the true alpha. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, there is no true. Well, I get you know people they're... kill and rape and stuff because like <clears throat> the the power the control. Yeah. So that I that's guess what that happens it... in like prison. Yeah. That's why it happens. Nah, dude, just a couple brothers getting horny. Space. Yeah, space. I don't think I should be joking about this. Dude, that's fucked up, dude. I'm seriously thinking about reprimanding you. Oh, yeah. If a rape occurred in space? Yeah. Yeah, that would suck. That'd be, that'd be big news. Before the boys talk about anything <laughs> too nefarious, uh, yo mama. <laughs> <laughs> that works as a, that works. Oh, man, dude. Just do a little voice modular, you know. Yeah, I got you, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, he, 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 he. I actually, when I was looking at houses two years ago to rent, uh, I looked at one on the same street as where he like decapitated the seventy-nine-year-old woman. God oh, damn! And stabbed her a bunch. Did he decapitate her in the street? Well, he, like... he almost decapitated her. He snuck in her room while she was sleeping. He would always hit him while they the night stalker. He hit him while they were sleeping. Hence, night stalker. So, like, he would like. He, like he had a hammer and he like oh Boom. he killed some people with a hammer <clears throat> so like, as they were sleeping he just poof, and they'd yeah. wake up like either probably not wake up or they'd just be jarred and just fucking he went into one of the cops homes and and he ran away before anything happened oh shit just to like show in the middle out. of the night like he opened the window and Cause, got in because I'm guessing for him it's like that you know when people are what is it what are they called kleptomaniacs when they shoplift like Marie yeah he's like you just fuck him with him yeah. Because, dude, if I was that cop and that happened, I'd be like, holy shit. Because also, like, if is he maybe, dead? maybe if he didn't wake is up. He dead in prison? He yeah, dead? he got cancer and died. Uh-huh. He was really fucked up, though. He'd do, yeah. like, all the Satan shit. Richard Ramirez. Interesting. Watch that series or look it up. It's Does great. he wear a hat? He wears a bowler's cap that's tilted 45 degrees <laughs> no, on his head. Does he? Does he? <laughs> With yeah. a big feather coming out? <laughs> The killer with the hat. <laughs> I want to see that documentary. <laughs> like a really serious Netflix is like the killer with the hat. That sounds like some fucking like 2005 serious drama movie. Coming up on MSNBC. The killer with the hat. How do he kill so many people but wear such a good hat? <laughs> it was actually pretty fucking immaculate. <laughs> Look at that hat. <laughs> Beautiful. Dude, I would... <laughs> to like half of me looks like in a silence like <laughs> gotta fill the silence I love filling the silence with it I'll never okay that's probably this is you know how there's a lot of like things that mostly me I will take credit for kind of just I want some credit no if you got uh, do you want credit for being obsessively well, annoying with certain bits consistently no okay that's what I thought I was gonna I was gonna take well I do one. it too though so yeah I, I just I just feel I don't I guess I'm not so, I, I just feel a little, a little 
a little naughty sometimes, you know? A little naughty? Yeah, a little naughty. Why do you feel naughty? Because I'm like, ooh. <laughs> am, I, am I being a bit randy right now? Am I being a... <laughs> You don't want to be a bit random. You don't <laughs> no, want to be too randy. Of course not. Am I being too spicy for the internet right now? Yeah, man. Same thing to me, man. Sometimes I just want to, you know, just want to say it. More offensive jokes? Like what? Oh. What, what, what do you, you think is funny that's offensive? Like, for instance, I... In oh, the... I can see why. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, 100%. Or, oh, the, the one you made. That was about oh the, the one the, about the treehouse. So it's just it just kind of ends with that. But I think generally, like it's a it's it's witty. Yeah, no, it's a good. You know, it's say a what good you joke. about the content, but it's some it's witty. It's it's good, man. And and I wish we could say it more without offending the snowflakes. I know, but maybe in the future. You know, what we can finally. Fucking, what are they talking? We about? could sit down and tell the story. What is the start of this podcast? What are they doing right now? You know what we're doing? What? We're grabbing <laughs> half brother. <sighs> yeah. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of that. <laughs> we got. We got to talk about things a little more, dude. You know, two hundred family friendly. What? What? Two hundred. Two hundred. What? And thirty episodes. I, I, I already said that. I know. I'm just enjoying the number. <laughs> oh, okay. You're just you're just stewing. I'm in stewing it. in it, man. You're just kind of like, <sighs> like a like a hot bath. Oh, okay. I got something to talk about. Yeah. Uh, basically, so I think I updated this last week. We talked about this last week, where I, I'm staying in an Airbnb right now. Yeah. Uh, while well, the Tucker brothers quarantine in mm-hmm. my house. Yeah. My house. No, no, no. They pay rent. <sighs> they pay rent there too. <laughs> can't, can't say that. <laughs> but. The quarantining in our house, so I, uh, it's been hard without a bath, man. It's just a tile shower, and I need to take my bath. How, how often do you take baths? Every week. <clears throat> Wait, really? Yeah. You have a, you have a, like a bath day every week? Not a specific set one, but I, I like, like every the week bath. sometimes you just get a bath. I mean, it's just, it feels good. It's warm water, lay down in it. I don't Fuck. even, what I, what I do is. That sounds it, so nice. It's great. If you have a bathtub. You, bubbles? No, no bubbles. Sometimes I'll, I'll candles, lights sometimes, off. Sometimes, yes, yep. Okay. What's really nice is this: get a personal speaker, like a little not pers- portable speaker, you know. <laughs> get a personal speaker from <laughs> like a private speaker. Okay, thank you for having me. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, a tippity top, the tip top tip. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. I honestly, I'm just kind of riffing at this point. You just want me to speak? Okay. Tippity top. T- 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 I pay you to speak. What, what? What was that? I I didn't know what you wanted, so I just started. Words. Yeah, words. Okay, you, I'll I'll start speaking about um, uh, um, uh, oh. I'm just actually gonna use not, my not my really good personal spe- uh, speaker that's right here. My personal speaker. Like no, nah, you don't that, need the you one don't need, not, not. You don't need me. No, I don't need you. You don't need me. Nope. I still get paid. And it's been weird how I'm about to get in the tub and I'm completely naked and you're standing right there. But I still get paid, right? Some, yeah. I, some. I, I, I gotta s- get the full thing. <laughs> Why? Why is it my problem if you decided to go with someone else? If you order, if you order a I'm birthday cake. I'm already here prepared to speak. You order a birthday cake. I'm already cake. here prepared to speak. Okay, stay. Stay. Do your thing. That's fine. A tippy top. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And scene. But that's, what what I like good, what brother. I like is this. Like in the bathroom, you know, start filling the bathtub up. Usually I start it with a little shower, you know. I'll rinse myself off uh and some and some hot water and then I'll sit down while the shower's going, stop the drain, and then flip it so it starts doing the hot bath water. Mm. I got it the lights are off. I got one candle going, my speaker oh, playing a little music. God damn. Now, now, please. I don't take him to get clean. I take him because it feels good. There, there's, there's one thing I would say you could possibly add to this little, little shindig of yours. Now, imagine if you had light bulbs that you could control with Bluetooth from your phone. Ooh. In terms of the colors, I like the way you're, you're thinking. That's what I did in the my my den because yeah, your den's cool. I wanna, I, I like, I can when I watch a movie, I can put like the right mood lighting. Like if it's like an action movie, I'll put on something like like lightly dimmed red or 
if it's an ocean movie, I can make a blue. I don't know. I can. If it's one of the movies that y- your your ass likes, Ryan. You probably put on pink, bubblegum pink, because I like pussy. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I love pussy. <laughs> I'm drowning in pussy, dude. Just Ma- drowning. Imagine in dying that way. Drowning in pussy. Yeah, like. I guess a woman you would... You can't drown in pussy. No, you could if 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 a woman... Okay, here's You can a, be smothered by pussy. Legit, legit. You can be suffocated by pussy. Ain't nobody drowned by pussy. What if the pussy's really wet? Where's the threshold come in of how much liquid... But the pussy... Okay. You but, can drown in mud, and mud's not fully liquid. But, but then if you're saying, like, the, the liquid is separate from the pussy, then the, the, the vagina would then have to be its own separate entity to be, like, physically drowning something, I guess? Like, like if... Like, you, you don't say a car drowns someone... You know, but like if someone intentionally like holds someone underwater, then they drown someone. Yeah. Well, I th- I think it's you know I'm sure many people have died that way. But I, but as a saying, drown, drowning, drowning in pussy. Because if it's if it's now thinking about it, it, it's not it's not a great. I mean, I know it just means that literally it, you're, dying. You've from amassed just a, a a large quantity of 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 vagina. Asphyxiating and and dying a horrible death. But it's in pussy. But but it's very sloppy and wet. Yeah, it's it is. probably very smelly. Yeah, yeah, it is. Not not that's not like a vagina smell joke. That's just. I'm mean, I'm sure if you just have a bunch of genitals in a room, you know, there's bound to be like a bunch of, you know, I'm sure some stenches won't mix. We have a friend that uh used to be a, a very very disgusting pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we 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 almost just got a nasty pussy. <laughs> it's disgusting, dude. No, uh. We we have a friend that used to do camera for a uh, porn, and oh yeah, he'd have to be up close to it. And he said the worst part was it just it would get humid and it would just smell like <laughs> sex, just like it would just like you could just smell it. And he wouldn't be having any. I know he just has to sit there and hold the camera, get a close up of someone's dick. Have you seen those uh, clips where like the guys get like like the cameramen get cum like get cum shot on their face and shit? <laughs> yeah, dude, that always makes me laugh. I mean, it's a risk you take. When you film pornography, because like, isn't it, dude? Wouldn't that be a weird job? Like two people are fucking on a couch, and you gotta like get like on on the edge of the couch like this with them, and just hold the camera and like zoom in on it. And then it's like, it's like the cameraman has to go into that job horny, or else he's not gonna be getting good shots. I don't think, right, dude? I think I think maybe the first time you'd be horny if you shot porn, but I think after a while, because I asked. But then how do you know what the people want to see? Because you know how to do it already. You, you know what people want to see. Know, yeah, but but. <sighs> Because you remember. There's an instinct. There's a love that you can't just gotta get the good produce shots, in a fucking factory, Think okay? about this. Think about this. You Our know, friend- it's, it's like a film. It has to be made with love. Like, you think classic directors like the current state of Hollywood? <sighs> Martin Scorsese, Avengers. Two very different types of this. filmmaking. Think about this. Our friend said it didn't make him horny after a while. And it would, and he just saw it. It didn't get horny because there was like a wall between what he was seeing, where it was like just watch, that's not sexual. It's just, just my job. Animal. You're just watching animals. There's no way I'm gonna get any of that, so my brain doesn't even make me attracted to it. I wonder for people who do like this is always something I wondered, and like I think I've heard that where it's like no, it doesn't spoil it. But like people who avidly like work in a kind of a busy sex industry where there's like, um, like you're having sex with someone else, not yeah. like you're just jerking off on camera or like. The job super mega. <clears throat> yeah. Which, well, that's the jerking off on camera thing. Yeah. But if 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 you do that, does is there a point of that which which not ruins but like changes how you view sex even in like a social even in your social viewpoint of it? Probably. Because I mean, if you work at a chocolate factory and you eat chocolate every day, <laughs> I don't think that's comparable. I mean, I guess you're not maybe. gonna like chocolate anymore. <laughs> but I think sex is a lot different than chocolate. There's a whole lot more writing on sex. There's emotion. There's there's. I just thought of, a, of like one of those desire. white girl cards, like one of those white girl like napkins or cards that is like that like font like that. And <laughs> there's it's, a it's whole something lot. about how chocolate's better than sex. <laughs> like a little drawing of a glass of wine and a bar of chocolate. I mean, that sounds like a that, that sounds like a perfect TikTok. It's like who needs boy who who needs boys when I got my chocolate. You and know? then well it's like it's like who needs boys when you can have and then the beat drops and okay, no, she's standing there and then right when the beat drops, she's suddenly holding like it appears in her hands like a big chocolate. A shower head made of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> See, y- y'all thought that was gonna be easy to make. And you're like, oh, I'm gonna make what they're saying. Shower head made out of chocolate. 
So uh, have fun with that. You fucking chocolate connoisseurs. Are there like chocolate hobbyists out there? Like there's craft, you know how there's like craft like beer? Wine people. And yeah. wine people. Are there people out there just making their own chocolate? Dude, I mean, there's, there's, some and like they wrap it and they give it to their friends. It's like expensive ass chocolate. This is there. John's chocolate. It's like a photo of him with his thumbs up or something. It's the best chocolate you've ever had. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking delicious chocolate. <laughs> when I was a kid, I wanted to make a, I, I guess I saw Willy Wonka because I had this big candy. Your dad love phase. you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I had this big candy making phase where I just wanted to make I love candy. How it comes so late. It comes so late. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Go on, go on, go on. Well, I wanted to make my own candy, so I, uh, I Did thought. You just combine different. Candies? No, I just thought that uh, melting chocolate bars on the stove and then hardening them again in a shape. I was like, yes, my own candy. <laughs> And I'd like make a little package for them and shit. How to make chocolate? First, add chocolate. I remember. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is that is that kind of like how your That's brain works? What it is, <laughs> dude. I just remember one I did have though. That looking back, not bad. What? I melted Hershey's chocolate. No way. And then, yeah. So that's where it starts. First crucial ingredient. Those are chocolate bars on the stove. Don't tell me you put a marshmallow and graham crackers. No, on no, top. no, no, no. I took some sprinkles, but the type of sprinkles that are like the. Grains of sugar, the different colored ones, okay. like rainbow, yeah. sprinkled in, mixed it in, and then it hardened and had the little sprinkles inside. It was good. Okay. It wasn't a bad idea. You know, there's, you know, that episode where, where Jimmy Neutron makes the most delicious candy. I was obsessed with it because it never looked like candy to me. It looked like really delicious, small, like mini donuts, you know, like the white powdered donuts that yeah. are spherical. It always kind of looked like that. So I pictured they'd have like the same texture, so even though they said they were candy. Is that episode of, supposed to be like a thing to drugs? <clears throat> I don't know. Do you think, do you? What what uh what early nineties to early or sorry what late nineties early two thousands like stuff dealt with drugs like in terms of not like shows like CSI I'm talking but like, about, like they find out like it'll be like an episode where they find out one of their friends is smoking pot and it's like <sighs> was there ever an episode where like in in on Nickelodeon Cartoon Network or Disney where they <laughs> they can't even reference pot they can't they can't say pot exists right <laughs> can we? like you can't be caught with drugs you can be caught with cigarettes yeah but not weed weed can, doesn't exist in Disney verse can we uh make like a really serious like drama where it's I find out you've been smoking pot it's just like <laughs> Wait, I gotta hold, talk to you and everything. Hold up, I, I got this. I got I, I got this, dude. I got the perfect song that uh that pl that that plays right after our fight, and then like I'm driving away. <laughs> Not what I was expecting at all. Are you are you? Did you just get back from Vietnam? Fade to a shot of the Vietnamese Delta with the <laughs> helicopters, <laughs> like. And like it's like us in Vietnam, just like <laughs> but it just ends. That we gotta make that, dude. Don't stop, fuck my wife, everybody. It's crazy that song got so big with that being one of the main lyrics. Don't show me your penis during the podcast, <laughs> Why not? man. I don't want to see it out your shorts. Why not? I just, I don't want to. see I can't it. be the only one seeing my penis. Someone else has to see it. Okay. Well, I saw I saw it. Stop. I don't want to see it again. So that's I have, I, it, it only, I think it helps me know that it Ryan, still exists. You've done this so much. What if my penis isn't there? You've done this so much. What if it's an illusion in my own head? There's a compilation of you showing me your penis. Your mama. <laughs> God, he got me again. <laughs> gotcha. God. Got me again, buddy. You. <laughs> I always fall for it, too. You do. You've always walked right in the book. it. God, dude. <laughs> Fucking. My fi one of my favorite there's ones. There's nothing you can say after that. It's no, I don't like, know what to come back with. It's like it has no. Like, it's like okay. It's like you're having a conversation. Conversation's done. Then someone I throws guess. like a stick at your head and it hits you. It's like ah oh, fuck. <laughs> and you, it's like, do I just get back on what I was talking about and ignore that, or do I address it? <laughs> you know, yeah. if I threw a crowbar at your head while you're having a conversation. Boom! Wait, 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 like the video that we <laughs> was it on the podcast. The old we guy. Boom. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Or was that on a Let's Play? It was on a podcast. Because okay. I remember I was laying right there when I watched it. <laughs> I was laying on the, the couch, the podcasting couch we don't sit on because we each have a chair. It's awesome, dude. We should get our podcast set to look exactly like uh, uh, just an intellectual set with like lots of books and like a globe. We should get our podcast set to look more like actually um, like a like a Young Turks. <laughs> or like Daily Wire type of news. So it room. looks like digital like, news, di digital show in like newsroom type. So like the background, like the red and blue stuff's like fading. And it's <laughs> yeah. like very kind of like futuristic, but we just never talk about like <laughs> anything related to that. But even like the Logan Paul's it's like that, yeah. fucking podcast has that. 
the Logan Paul podcast is what I hate about a lot of modern podcasts is they it's like you gotta I hate that guy. You <laughs> I have to say it stop every, every time I leave the poor up. boy alone. <laughs> there's 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 something just deep within my soul that just knows that he is he he will never he fights, change as a human. He fights Floyd Mayweather this month. I'm gonna have to watch it. Yeah, I hope he gets a brain aneurysm, dude. Dude. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm Jesus. <laughs> my grandpa died of a brain aneurysm. <laughs> He's probably <laughs> My grandpa? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Dude, if my mom hears that, she's gonna cry. <laughs> dude, you gotta bleep it out then. She's gonna cry. You man. gotta bleep it out. I don't wanna make your mom cry. But what if what if, what if her imagination your mom is worse? laugh or have orgasms? What if her imagination's even worse than Which what you're Which apparently said? she can't have, she told me. Uh, apparently. Yeah, I, yeah, she has a problem. You know, like when we were like kind of like just kind of when it was like flourishing, when it was like, right? She like, she. I remember specifically there was one time she said she had one and I'm guessing she forgot that she said that. And so now it's like, it's, it's like. We're, <laughs> hey man, conditions can come and go. <clears throat> Whatever. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. But, you know. <sighs> but I was. What were you saying? I was saying, um. Oh yeah, I don't like modern podcast sets because they're all so like serious and chill looking. But like a real chill look, Mega sixty four has a really good set. It's like two couches, like a bunch of arcade machines. Mm, it's like I, I don't know, lit. I don't like that one. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't imagine like the that start guy. of someone here, like a fan just hearing them, like, "Geez, what what is what is up Ryan's butthole today?" Mm, I don't like that. Many things, <laughs> like my new Bart Simpson butt plug. Watch, I can squeeze it. <laughs> Dig my shorts. See, it's fucking genius, man. You 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 always outdo me. I think I, I think I'm coming to work, being well dressed or something, and you pull this shit out on me every time. <laughs> every time, it's ridiculous. I can't believe it, man. <laughs> Can we get the vaccine already? I mean, we are essential workers. Yes. So. I saw podcasters on that list. I see people all the time in the comments section, okay? They're they're tweeting at us, right? In Instagram. They're saying we help their lives, you know. They, they have I've seen they those. have a more positive experience because of our existence. And it's like okay, so so that has to account for something, right? I think we could be considered like doctors or therapists for Ex that. Exactly. Right? Because we're, you go to the doctor to what? Feel better. Yeah, but we're probably better than doctors because doctors have been fucked. Like, they, what have they been doing? Running around, dealing with this whole like COVID thing? Yeah. Like, people can't even Where's get, the like, vaccine? Yeah, exactly. They're, they're, they're just fumbling. They're, all the doctors are fumbling the ball. Yeah. So uh, I think that that's a pretty good argument on why we should get the vaccine in group like 1A or whatever it Maybe is. even before doctors. But they already got them, apparently, or they were getting them. And then it's old people where it's like, who they're going to die anyway. Like, I want to live, you know, Come I would on. like to live. You know, I have a lot more going for me than some 89 year old man that shits his pants every day. Yeah, exactly. Give me that vaccine. He doesn't need it. I want to live to the supple age of, I don't know, actually, 75. No, no, like 90. I feel like 85, maybe. I feel like dying at 90 might be good. Because my my grandmother's like 86 or something, and she's super, she's still there. Not. I only have I only have one grin. <clears throat> that wasn't me choking up. <laughs> <laughs> Just started crying. No, I mean, it is sad. Uh, I, I lost a grandmother recently, but. What, was she in a maze? <laughs> Come on, dude. That's, you lost that's her. That's my grandmother. <laughs> what, were you in a big Walmart? <laughs> I only have one left. But luckily, she's like super, like, like she's still, she's still pretty. Like, she, she seems witty. pretty quick. She, she can, she can, she can walk around. She can't dance. She can jump, jive, and whip. I don't think she can jump or jive. Because dude, we're gonna get to a point where we can't even jump. Yep. Think about that. Like, what age is that? You think where you can't like do a jump without it like affecting? I think you know, it like changes 70s? for people. Like, because for instance, Depending your grandma, on how healthy we are, right? Your grandma's eighty six. <laughs> your grandma's eighty six, right? And she's doing great around there. I My think. grandma is around there too, and. My grandma is the very, exact opposite. Yeah. yeah, it's. I mean, it's how you treat yourself growing up too. Because my grandpa is, uh, he doesn't really do anything healthy. Yeah, and doesn't really care. So he's like in horrible condition at ninety, which a lot of people are at ninety. Well, I think it just comes down to like a lot of people in their later lives will get things like dementia, Alzheimer's, or yeah. My grandma's dealing with that right now. Yeah, but it. I mean, it's weird when you we. Think about how humans age. It's like, oh, it's just, they're just old. They've just existed longer, so they look like that. 
That's like a crazy shower we're all thought. We're gonna die one day. Yeah, we are gonna die one day. I'm a, there's gonna come a point when I die and a point when you die, where uh, in a millisecond it goes from consciousness. To Could nothing. happen at any moment. Mo- mo- most likely later down the road. Hopefully. Yeah. Right that moment, a truck Let's comes see. through the window. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I would. I would like to live to the the age of. I mean, nineties good. I just feel like maybe in my late eighties it might just be boring. Because, you know, probably most people you know have died by then, or a lot of them. And also, you can't really do much at that age. Like, you can't jump. So it's like, mm. Have you ever thought, like, well, going down the highway, like, <clears throat> your one of your last moments could literally just be like, fuck. Like, that realization. Like, if you just see a, a car just accidentally come into the other lane, it's like an 18-wheeler, and it's barreling right towards you, and you're both, like, going, like, 80 or something. Like, th- there's that moment where you see it coming, and you're just kind of like... Oh, I hope the next thing I see is in, I'm waking up in a hospital bed. Like, there's just that brief moment. Maybe you're just more startled than anything. You know like, why? Fuck. But yeah, I wonder it's, if it's somebody just a pure adrenaline. Pfft. Yeah. Maybe you know, there is no like acceptance because if you don't have enough time to kind of glance. You know. Yeah. Maybe if a big wrecking ball was was swinging from across a valley towards you, and I was duct taped to to a wall, that a giant big, wall. You'd have time to be like, oh no! shit. <laughs> it's weird that like. Also, your last moment you're for driving and you get into a wreck. It's like your last moment can just be like, like I could be texting you some like Vine meme of of some kid shooting and that his kills pants me. and that and, I, and you die. And I look at him in an instant. Yeah, car crashes are terrifying. But here's the thing, you know, when you think about like you're like, oh man, you you want to die like fast. But here's the thing, you're not gonna remember it. You won't exist. What? You won't exist. What do you mean? After you die. After you die. Oh, like when you're old and you die. Yeah, like, well, if your death was painful, like, after you're dead, it doesn't matter because you you're, you're not conscious anymore. You can't be ah. upset about it or in oh, pain. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ad reads! <sighs> Let's talk about love. Yep, we're doing it. If there's one thing that got us through this past year, other than that video of Dogface vibing to Fleetwood Mac, <laughs> it's love. Why is that actually in the script? And that means getting extra cheesy for Valentine's Day is okay. We'll allow it. Despite everything, we found new ways to match our daily lives together with the ones we love most. That's why MeUndies released their V-Day collection in undies, loungewear, and more, so you and your Valentine can match through it all. Show that special someone how much you care, and say those three words everyone wants to hear. Match my undies. And if you're single, no problemo. Show yourself some love and something that makes you feel amazing, because you deserve that. I'm wearing me undies right now, uh, on my, on my body. I, I got this, uh, des- it's like rainbow design. With, it's like rainbow splotches. God, it's comfortable. And I just got some new ones in the mail I can't wait to try on. Why are they so great, though? It's because MeUndies are made with sustainable, breathable, softer-than-soft fabric and available in a range of sizes from extra small to 4XL. MeUndies membership gives you and your boo a new pair of undies or socks every month. Members get discounted pricing on everything MeUndies makes, as well as early access to major print launches. So, MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping. MeUndies also has their problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats, no questions. To get 15% off your first order and free shipping, go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. That's MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. Thinking is overrated. Between work, home, school, kids, relationships, binging SuperMega, the world, you've got enough on your plate to think about. That's why Honey is here to make at least one aspect of your life a lot less complicated saving money just add honey to your computer for free and shop on lots of your favorite websites like normal if honey finds a coupon code it will automatically tell you apply the correct codes and drop the price in a flash no thinking no remembering no searching for coupons just blissful automation and that's what the future is all about right it's already found over one billion dollars in savings for its members automatically you don't even have to lift a finger I have Honey installed on all my browsers, uh, and whenever I go on Amazon, boom, 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 codes to help me save some money. Uh, and like I said, when I bought my mother a Christmas present, I was able to save seventy dollars on on one item, which was kind of insane because that was uh, I got my mom something nice. Honey's literally a no-brainer. In just a few seconds, you could have one less thing to worry about. So what are you waiting for? Try Honey today at joinhoney.com/megacast. That's joinhoney.com/megacast. This week's episode of Super Mega Cast is brought to you by BetterHelp. What interferes with your happiness? Is something preventing you from achieving your goals? 
For instance, uh, for me last year uh, during COVID, yeah, I just lost a lot of motivation and got depressed. And so did Ryan and a lot of our other friends. And I'm sure that uh, we weren't the only ones dealing with that. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Connect in a safe and private online environment. It's so convenient. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. Send a message to your counselor anytime. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. All without ever having to sit in an uncomfortable cold waiting room. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and financial aid is available. The service is available for clients worldwide, and you'll be able to find the particular expertise you need online. Don't limit yourself to the counselors located near you. You can find licensed professional counselors who are specialized in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, anger, family conflicts, LGBTQ matters, grief, self-esteem, and more. Anything you share is confidential. And if you don't believe me, go check out the testimonials posted daily on their site. So, if you want to start living a happier life today, as a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash supermega. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash supermega. So we all know how a VPN protects your privacy and security online, right? But... I didn't know this until recently, and it's taken my TV watching game to the next level. You can use a VPN to unlock movies and shows that are only available in other countries. Over the weekend, I used ExpressVPN to binge Doctor Who on UK Netflix. You guys know I love Doctor Who. It was so simple. I just fired up the ExpressVPN app, changed my location to UK, refreshed Netflix, and boom, that's it. See, ExpressVPN hides your IP address and lets you control where you want sites to think you're located. You can choose from almost 100 different countries. So just think about all the Netflix libraries you can go through. Love anime? I know the, the you guys listening do. Use ExpressVPN to access Japanese Netflix and be spirited away, get it? But it's not just Netflix. ExpressVPN works with any streaming service. Hulu, BBC iPlayer, YouTube, you name it. There's hundreds of VPNs out there, but the reason I use ExpressVPN to watch shows is because it's ridiculously fast. There's never any buffering or lag, and you can stream in HD, no problemo. ExpressVPN is also compatible with all your devices, phones, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. So you can watch what you want to watch on the go or on the big screen, wherever you are. If you visit me and Ryan's special link right now, expressvpn.com slash supermega, you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Support the show, watch what you want, and protect yourself at expressvpn.com slash supermega. Welcome back, everyone, to the Super Mega Show podcast. See, it's not really called that. It's called the Super Mega Cast. Got you. Pranked some of you. There's some dumbasses out there. We didn't record the ad reads at the beginning of this episode, oh, dude. I'm going to be annoyed. I'm going to be I'm gonna be pissed. I think I feel. I got to edit them. Oh, God. Oh, Robin Hood. Our sponsor, Robin Hood, our great, great sponsor. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, not anymore. No, nah, they suck. <laughs> yeah. I Which sucks because, like, I legitimately used Robin Hood, too. Mm -hmm. And they fucked you over. Yeah. They wouldn't let me fuck. They fucked my shit up. They wouldn't let you fuck the, the, the elites. I uninstalled that shit after all that. Like, when that was happening, I was like, okay. Got my shit out of there, uninstalled it. Yeah, it's just, uh... <laughs> like the no excuses no no fucking excuses it's just so such blatant like yeah we're, we gotta protect the rich guys yeah like and then watching the CEO <clears throat> try to like go Weasel around his questions. way out of it yeah. yeah not a good look actually Chris we're thinking about the best potential for all our investors including the bigger ones but we're really thinking about the smaller ones we're trying to protect them mm -hmm. We don't want them earning too much money. We don't know what what would that do to the economy if people all of a sudden became rich. Yeah. Well, a lot of those uh, a lot of those big people have stake in Robin Hood and stuff too. Uh oh. So it's like is this going to be one of those things where like they're actually going to survive from it and they're just going to be like ooh there was and people are be like well, isn't Robin Hood that company that I don't think they're ever going to be able to get like a popular appeal again. They're just going to change names, right? Because they because they were fine. Like everyone was cool with Robin Hood pretty much, and then now it's like oh. Fuck them. Yeah. Yeah, so we dropped them because we don't... Fuck that shit. Hasta la bye-bye, dude. <laughs> right, that's right in the CEO's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Shit. Dude, what, what is this, click? 
What is this, Adam Sandler's click? Does that happen? Is, yeah. Oh, yeah, I could click. He gets up and farts in his boss's mouth. He probably lives in L.A. Did you put shit in my coffee? What the? What the crap? <laughs> Dude, we don't say crap enough. Ah, crap. Like, we don't say crap. enough middle school I said swears. crap a lot when I was a kid. What the freak, man? I'd be like, what the? Uh, I'd be like, crap. I would say it a lot, too. Like, Dude, I'm sick of this crap. I think I used Crud. fuck early on. Like, when I was even in elementary school. It's like a Pokemon. Ryan used fuck. I did use fuck. My mama taught me. Ooh. I didn't hear my mom say fuck until No, she was... taught me the word fuck. <laughs> she... <laughs> my mama taught me fuck. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't think I heard my mom say it until, like, seventh grade. And then I don't think I heard my dad say it for, like, many years after. My mom had a sailor's mouth. Ooh. Just driving along. Someone does something wrong. You know, pulls out in front of her. She'd go, that mother, <laughs> that motherfucker. She'd say that. She'd say that right, dude. right then and there, in front of my, in front of my impressionable eyes. That's why you're so damaged, dude. That's why I curse so much. That's why I have such a filthy sailor's mouth. Me too. It's because of my mom. Well, I, I see. I didn't curse a lot as a kid because I was until, scared of it until high school, and then all Mid your middle friend, school. All I was your still... friends started cursing, and so you cursed too. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I was so big in the church, I thought, like, I legit like. If I cursed, I'd be like, oh my God. And um, I remember one time I thought this kid stole my bike when I was in seventh grade. And I was like, excuse my language, but son of a bitch to my friend. Like excuse I was, my language. I think a lot of it was my OCD, but I, uh, now I'm just making like the Rhett Link song. OCD. Yeah. I'm trying to get all the curse words in now uh, that I missed out on in the middle school years. Mm -hmm. And I'm giving them to middle schoolers so they can listen to a lot of curse words. Middle schoolers love curse words. They do. They do. Dude, I mean, I did. What the frick, man? I loved curse words when I was a middle schooler. Well, I was, well, I don't know. I did a lot of weird shit when I was a middle schooler. Yeah. I did a lot of weird shit as a high schooler. Yeah. I do a lot of weird shit now. Yeah. But I mean, at least, I don't know. I feel like you have excuses when you're younger to do stupid oh, yeah. shit. I don't know. We're still young, right? <laughs> like, when are you, when are you considered to be like Probably every a final work in progress? I think every Sorry, decade. Sorry, a final work. It's just a step up every decade. Maybe. Yeah. 30, it's like there's like, 40. hey, expectations for you are a bit high now. You're, you're, you're not in Kansas anymore, son. <laughs> you're in North Dakota. North Dakota. I really, uh -huh. dude. Come on. I had to. Uh, yeah, I don't it's a part. That. It's a part of the podcast. What were you saying right before this, though? Yo, mama. Ryan. <laughs> I had a point. I had a point to, I to make. I can't remember. Oh, God. I can't either. Well. Maybe you should have paid attention. I was paying attention. <laughs> you derailed me with that. Derailed you with what? With the yo mama. Don't say it. Stop that shit. Okay, I won't. I won't. Uh, you saw it locked and loaded in my throat. I did. My I mouth could, was I could, hung open. I could see uh, what was about to happen. Stop. That's, <laughs> that's a scary face you just made. It's like a slightly open smile where I can see both rows of teeth. And your eyes are... It looks like you're trying to smile without smiling. But you are. Now it's become a very stern face. <laughs> the slow transformation. The was it you? Who was it? Who, who? It was me. No, 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 no. There was someone that said, like, if I was looking at you at first glance, it was, I think it was Tucker. It's like at first glance, I would think you were just like, just, uh, what, 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 what did you say? Like, I was, I was not grumpy gruff or just tucker said that or just like i because you're because you were like you have you seem more masculine than me and i'm like i don't know i don't feel and you're just like yeah i feel like people when they like tucker was this was like, last week yeah uh, yeah i was like wait this just happened i remember that i i, I don't remember hearing that yeah it was like tucker yeah well, i walked out of the room because i was oh yeah yeah he was like i, ju I didn't I just hear the masculine like, part though i just feel like if when people like if they don't know who you are and i feel like i can't remember what he said but the general vibe of is just like i just it, i like intimidate like yeah you look like, pretty grumpy all right do, do, I, do, do i do i do i give up like do i put people off by just the way i look this is my demeanor do i need to walk around like this all day yeah that's a cute smile yeah if i just walked around chin <laughs> up you know <laughs> <laughs> like i can't just you know do this. You look angry. That's do the do thing. I just look angry? Was, do your resting face looks a little bit angry or concerned. Just, does, does that ever like send your brain for a loop? Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Really? Are you like? Is is he? I'm like, shit. Is he mad at me? <laughs> but I, I know. I, I at this point, I'm like, oh, I, I know. 
It's not like bad. Sometimes I'm just listening, dude. No, it's really just you, you relax your face and everyone's face is differently shaped and relax your face. I wouldn't say you look I feel like when everyone relaxes their face, they look like stern or upset, right? I'm trying to fully relax it like because when you're in a social situation, the whole like we've been taught, I guess, through social conditioning that you're kind of matching you're not matching exactly like the people's facial expression, but you're you're giving them at least a response or mimicking mimicking their emotions slightly because it's like the contract of a conversation or whatever, right? Right, and that's one of the things, uh, for example, people with something with stuff like autism have a mm -hmm. hard time doing because, like, the social uh, social skills are tricky, man. And, like, not being able, like, as you were saying, like, people who are autistic, when they don't, some people just can't recognize, yeah. like, social. There was this, um, <laughs> there's, like, some clips I see every now and then on YouTube. Like, is it a show on TLC? It's It's a show where it's, like, my autistic twin. <laughs> no, it's like that's like a TLC it's, show it's right like there. People who are on the spectrum who like try to find a significant other. Oh I think. no, that's Netflix. That's Love on the Spectrum. Okay, Love on the Spectrum. That's what it that's is. That's a good show. That's a really good show. If you watched it, is it the one where um the the guy and this girl go out on a date and he's just like, "Welp, it seems we both have autism." Then, yep. Is that is that clip from that show or is that from something else? I think it's from that. Because it's 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 a really fascinating show. It's interesting. Well, because like sometimes. When there's this one, I, I don't know his name because I've only seen clips. He's kind of like talking about the differences between him and his brother or something like that. And the way he talks, it comes off almost like a, a stand up comedy. Like he's like delivering a dry punchline, but he's just kind of it's just he's being matter of fact. But I also think he's being like, you know, funny with it. But I was I mainly I was just this guy should be a comedian. Because his delivery and deadpan is there, there are so perfect. Comedians with Asperger's and autism. There's a comedian that has autism that makes like his set about that. Oh, really? Was, it, I've watched it. Was, it was funny. And you know, Jerry Seinfeld has Asperger's. Does he? Yeah. A lot of people I found I have Asperger's that I never thought. Like Jerry Seinfeld does. Um, oh, who else? I think Tom Cruise does. Don't quote me on that, but also I don't like Tom Cruise, so go go crazy. Well, there's a difference between going out on top and being canceled, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> we were number one. Oh, uh, I love Jerry Seinfeld, man. Do you think that was just a bit between him and like Larry? It was like a funny little thing, like a joke, or do you think uh, Jerry Seinfeld in that interview was kind of hurt by his like we weren't canceled? Oh, with Larry David. King. Oh, Larry King. I haven't seen that clip. Oh, really? <laughs> he, hold up. Let me see if I can find R.I.P., man. Larry King just died this week. Or last, last week. Last week or like two weeks ago. Hold up. Yeah, COVID just fucks my timeline completely. What was I looking up? <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll let Larry, you. Larry King. Lasted how long? Nine years. 180 episodes. You gave it up, right? I did. Too. They didn't cancel you. You canceled them. You're not aware of this? No, I'm, I'm asking you. You think I got canceled? Are you under the impression I, I, I got canceled? You, I hurt you, Jerry. I thought don't, that was pretty well documented. This is, most a, shows is this still down. CNN? Don't most shows go down a little? Most people do also. You will. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I went off the air. I was the number one show on television, Larry. You were do you know who I am? <laughs> Jewish guy, Brooklyn. Yes. Okay. 75 but, million viewers. Last okay. episode. Who are you? Don't take like it so canceled. bad. Well, that's a, a big difference between being canceled and being number one. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll be right back. Jeez. B movie opens. <laughs> <laughs> B movie Can we opens. Get a resume in here for B me. B movie opens Larry tomorrow. Over? No, I, I, we'll be right back. <laughs> Larry King that little last part where like there's like, like, hey, Ep. Yeah, that was, I think that was real. <laughs> I think he but struck like, a nerve with him. Of course, there's like a like there's some joking, of course, because he's well, not gonna be like, "Excuse me, Larry, you throwing this the <laughs> yeah, make it not as harsh, <laughs> yeah. man." I'm number one. Do we need to get a resume in here so Larry can read? Hey, 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 come on! Larry. I notoriously don't do. I'm just making him sound like Bernie. I notoriously don't do interviews, or I don't do research before I interview people. Does he not? Because I want to. Treat everyone the same. Oh. 
There's a clip of him farting on TV. <laughs> wait, Larry King. I, I remember as a kid, I watched it and like replayed it like twenty times. <laughs> there's, wait, hold up, I gotta look that and up. And dude, remember, remember Regis and Kelly? There's a Larry, clip of. It's, it's just called Larry King fart. Look up Larry King fart. Can that be the title of this episode? <laughs> Like a week after he passed, <laughs> week after he passed gas, more like. <laughs> uh, that was insensitive. Here it is. It's 43 seconds. That's a long fart. Investigations and in New York is Robert Malley, who served as special 14 years ago. to President Clinton for Arab-Israeli affairs, is now director of the Middle East and North for Africa program for the International Crisis Group. Let's get first the thoughts of Congressman Rohrbach on what you've heard so far. You see any any optimism here? <laughs> Is that it? I heard you it. See any, pff, you see Dude, any optimism Dude, that could have just been like an here. intern dropping a pin behind the camera. Let's get first the thoughts of Congressman Rohrbach on what you've heard so far. You see any, any optimism? I don't know. That's pretty. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I just thought of it. If, if I worked in a studio and I was pissed off at someone famous that did a live show, just <laughs> do just like go- one single... <laughs> and because like you know they don't even like even if they know it's fake they don't they, they don't want to address like I did not fart because uh, they just wanted people to forget it but <laughs> what just, if you just threw like a mint at them like while they were live but you were in the back so you just walked away afterwards and people were like what the fuck like a mint just what the fuck <laughs> like come on dude remember Bruce Almighty when he was fucking with Steve and Carell? my tiny little nipples went to <laughs> France. France yeah oh. classic was that was that like while the office was going on or is that before the office fame for Steve Carell I feel like that might have been before The Office, right? Yeah, I think so. And then, uh, and then he started doing movies when he got big from The Office, like Date Night. Remember that one? Yeah. He's holding it sideways. Kill shot. Kill shot. He, he was like Michael more. Scott, but he was he was more competent. And he had a wife named Tina Fey. Oh, okay. He's in. She um... was played by Tina Fey. Oh. She wasn't. He's not married to Tina Fey. No, in the not movie. in the movie. Not in the movie. No, like no. the character is not married to yeah. Tina Fey. <laughs> <laughs> he does like those smaller movies too. Like I saw some of uh, Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Seeking a Sounds familiar. It's where him and uh, I forgot her name, but they're like there's an asteroid that's about to destroy Earth in like three no, days. No, I saw that dude. When I first saw that, I cried. When I, I seen first the saw that movie. It's, pretty, it's really sad because it horrified me. The ending is um oh fuck it. Spoiler alert. I guess. <gasps> dude, don't spoil it. Just the ending, like when they're just like abs- accepting it. It was just like this weird th- thing where I'm like, no, that's not because I was young when I watched it or younger. So I was just like, oh, my God, that's that doesn't make me feel nice. That doesn't make me feel good. But now I think I think when I watch it, it would make me feel good because like, oh, they found someone. Yeah, because I think maybe Life. it wouldn't have gotten a big audience appeal. If they... How lovely. Wow. <laughs> Hopefully I can find that one day before an asteroid strikes. Bazoonga. Dude, on uh, on the epic SMP server, uh, Ross and I were doing some good old good old Danny impressions. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Hey, lovelies. Hello. Oh, oh, oh fuck my prostate. Fuck, like, I'm coming. Oh, <laughs> oh, here I go. I'm about to come. I'm spurting. <laughs> he's gonna he's oh that spirit was lovely it's gonna, oh it's all over the walls he's gonna he's hear clean this it and up. Be like what the fuck is their problem <laughs> why are they on why are they just on my ass I thought we were on good terms like I, speaking of asteroids though I saw I watched Greenland this weekend what have you seen the trailer for the movie Greenland no it's it's like a what is 2012 it? style movie like destruction movie oh okay and it's uh it's about Greenland no, it's it's that's where the shelters are. There's this comet called Clark that's going by Earth, but it breaks apart and then it starts it's cause it starts causing an extinction event and they have like two days. And the guy gets randomly selected to go to one of these shelters. So they're only taking two hundred thousand humans up to Like Greenland. Fallout. Yeah. Like Fallout with the vaults. And it's him and his family trying to get there while there's asteroids coming down. And uh not better than Fallout. Who's the No, it's not it's not. Who's the main character? What's what? his name? I don't know. He has like an Irish accent. Sean, no, never mind. Very masculine. Very masculine. Gerard Butler is the main character. Oh, he was in like, okay, you know, from 300 fame. Yeah. From, um, I forgot the name of the movie. He was in a movie with Katherine Heigl at some point. I'll say this. It was just a stu- He was in a, I think he was also in a romantic comedy with Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> Gerard, but- Gerard Butler was huge at one point. I think he's even the voice of uh, Hiccup's really? dad in How to Train Your Dragon. He's got a good voice. <clears throat> he's got well, a great voice. I think what the mo- what I'll say about the movie was I knew what it was going into. Is like It's one of those over-the-top survival yeah. things. Wait, so, you saw Greenland? Yeah, I watched it. 
Oh, I thought you just said you saw the trailer. No, no, no. I watched the Where movie. Where is it out? Uh, I watched it on Amazon. Does he does he play like an everyman? Is he supposed to be like fucking awesome Gerard Butler? But no, he's... he gets hurt. He gets no, hurt. but like in terms of an everyman, like is who is he in the movie? Yeah, that. Oh, he's just like oh my wife and my kids. Yeah, I love my wife and my kids. And he's gotta like. Fight I need some protect. coffee. Hey, ah, it's a beautiful day. He has a as Gerard accent. Butler. <laughs> So well, that's what he talks like. This is what he sounded like when he was in uh, that movie with. Uh, uh, well, he was in fucking. I'm name, name. Come on, man! You're really embarrassing me right now. Jamie, with this. Jamie, Jamie Fox. Oh, come on, man! What's the name of the movie? Ah, uh, I can't remember, but I know at the end, uh, it's about a guy whose family is is defiled and murdered in front of him and the people don't seek justice so he seeks out his own justice and then gets convicted for murder. Oh, shit. A little vigilante. And it's him trying to show the system who's boss. My... But he's becoming the villain. My favorite Jamie Foxx movie? talking like that. It doesn't hurt your throat? No, it's actually... That shit hurts It doesn't throat. go in my... You know, it doesn't go Steve-o? that... Steve-O? Like, in my throat. Hey, guys! Like, that would hurt my throat. But like, talking... Or, or, my favorite or, Jamie Foxx role is... uh. Choke me like you hate me, but you fuck Corpse, get me. out of here. <laughs> fuck off, corpse. Uh, when, he's, when he's in Horrible Bosses. Your mama. <laughs> Damn on. it. You walked into that one, too. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> it hurts, man. It really hurts. It hurts my Who feelings. Who is in Horrible Bosses? Uh, Charlie Day. Kevin Spacey, he plays the horrible boss. No, but like, who were you talking about? You're like, he's in horrible Jamie boxes. Fox okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays a uh, motherfucker Jones. Yeah, that's right, dude. Or the Jamie Fox show. I like Yo, my yeah, ass off at the first horrible bosses in theaters. You saw it in theaters? Yeah, I watched it at my friend's house in like eighth grade. You want to? Do you remember like the first true like horror movie experience you had in theaters? Yeah, when when Zero threw up in holes. <laughs> Well, no, like, seriously, do you remember, like, your first, uh, because, like, for me, it was a big whole thing, because it's like, this is the first, fo- like, horror, horror movie I'm seeing in theaters where I can't, I can't <laughs> hide behind anything, I have to, and I'm going, I was going, I was, it was in, I was in high school, and I was, like, going with a, with a girl I liked. No, yo! Yeah, and so I had to, I was like, I have to look at the screen, I can't look away, I have to be brave. It was Insidious, was my first. Ooh, I know, you know what, I didn't really go see horror movies. And like what, I did, I did see sometimes, but I go with a group of people, and it never like really in high like, school. It was more like, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I it was just this big event because I'm I'm I was a scaredy cat. Stuff scared the shit out of me. I hated I hate still hate jump scares. What you, what's the scariest piece of media, like game, movie, like <sighs> overall? What do you think is the scariest one, in your opinion? <sighs> the live stream from the Democratic Convention. <laughs> um. I don't know what like this something like the thing that scared me the most. Hmm. Maybe as a kid, like the because I don't experience true terror in a movie like I did when I was a kid. Because you know when you're a kid, like everything's real in the movie or happening. I think it was Jaws when I was a kid. It was one the shark was terrifying, and also the scene where the decapitated head like like comes up and it yeah. like, does a scream sound effect. That got me good as a kid. I'm not but I still went back and watched Jaws because I was like, well, people I want to see the shark. Good. Like for me as a kid, I'm like, I want to see the shark. I want to see the shark. And then like you, you'd kind of see a little bit of it and you'd be like, ah! and then, <laughs> then I'd look away and then I have to look back. I, I watched the first 30 minutes of The Impossible this weekend just so I could watch the tsunami scene and then I turned it off. <laughs> It's a good scene. It, it's, it's done really well. It's 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 all Tom it, Holland. It's mostly it. practical too. Tom Holland. Oh in yeah, it. he's so little. He's a t- little kid. He's a he's a little boy. I didn't even connect the dots on that. That that was him. Crazy, right? How I time flies. Now he's Spider Man. I didn't even think that that was Tom Holland. He's a, he's a grown man doing movies with Daisy Ridley. Damn, I saw that movie in theaters. Looks too. like a bad movie. I think. Wait, movies, what movie are you talking about? The Impossible. Impossible. Yeah, Any yeah. movie that has a big disaster scene, you got to have go to a rich person's house. And steal their speakers or uh, go to the movie theater. Do you remember the feeling like when uh, you went to a theater as a kid and like the door would open to like an R rated movie that was going on and you'd hear the noise? And you're from walking it and you'd, by and you're like, Whoa. and you'd be like, oh, what's, go- what, what's, what's going on in there? And I'm like, what if I open the door and just. I did that once as a kid. <laughs> you'd, you'd go in and peek and see what it was. It wasn't an R rated movie. I don't remember what movie it was, but I remember I went to the bathroom and I was like, what if I looked in there? I did that with like, and I went and I peeked my head around the corner and I saw a little bit of the screen. And I was like, oh my I, god! I did that with horror movies. I would like, it, I would, I would like, if I went to the bathroom during a regular movie, I would like 
look at the horror movie thing. I'd like open the door and I'd start creep closer and closer to, and, cause like it's a horror movie it's, stuff's going on usually. And I was like, <gasps> and I'd look and like, usually I'd like just get too scared and start hurrying back. This is when I was a little, little boy. Hey little boy. <laughs> I think it was like monsters and aliens or whatever that movie was that I walked in on. Alien versus Predators? No, 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 but the animated one. Oh, <laughs> okay. Aliens and Monsters. Is yeah, the one called? with Stephen Colbert, who plays like the president or something. I shit. remember I really liked that movie when I saw it. That was the first real D movie. I think movie. Tina Fey may be a voice in it too, possibly. I think so. I, I It was one of the first real D, like, 40 movies I saw, what they advertise it as with the big real D glasses. I just didn't like the human designs. Mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know why. There's They're always... I don't know, what is it about certain designs where you're just like, that's great? Like, why why does a brain do that? Why do we see things as good or bad? Is it Because, like, I can tell that's a person, but why do I personally not like the aesthetic of certain designs of people in media? I wonder if you could break it down to art, like, how your brain reads, like, dimensions and shapes and I is it know. through conditioning purple like personal preference but like what what is it Probably like both. what is because there is it is subjective at the end of the day like a lot of people be like oh i love that art style you know that it's not like what i'm saying is a fact it's just my opinion there could be a game or there could be like a low cg tv show that has like not very good but i still like the art style more than like a really realistic one maybe yeah and it's like i guess it's personal preference i guess it's just like throughout your life your attraction to different colors and shapes and stuff maybe all form this little neural link where you're like oh I know I like that I don't like that something like that I don't know interesting art what is art okay so I just got a call from from my good old dad and stepmom and uh the, they they told me that there was there's this post going around on twitter about uh some was it a newspaper? Some, yeah, newspaper. Some, some local newspaper in uh, Columbia, my home, like my hometown, where I was where I was born, dude. And apparently, in Cola today, uh, there was an email that went out that one of my stepmom's friends saw, and it was like how Super Mega's moving to South Carolina. Here, I pulled it up. They're like, me, "What's going on?" I was let, like, let me read this. Okay, let, let's let everyone hear this. This news. This is great. Okay. So Jackson put out a tweet on January 23rd that said, we're moving the super megaplex into an abandoned mall in Ryan's hometown in an effort to give back to the community and normalize or something, uh, re revitalize the dying storefronts that's cut off. And this word on Twitter is that the stars of the YouTube channel Super Mega are relocating from their current setup in Los Angeles <laughs> in bold to Ryan's hometown in italics right here in Cola. For those who might not know, Super Mega which has a following of about 878,000, is a weekly series featuring Ryan McGee and Matt Watson, the Soda Citizen, that prides itself as being the first billion-dollar YouTube channel. <laughs> According to the show's Twitter account, they will move into an abandoned mall in the area in an effort to give back. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, let's talk about this. Well, okay. Um, should we... Um, let's... Because you're going to... Oh, yeah. That's so good. Uh, well, there there was another one recently that people reported on thinking it was real. That was ridiculous. Remember, it was like a. Uh, what was it? It was it was like some ridiculous. Thing. We're not going over we're like no. It was like it was this... me. It was me leaving Super Mega to focus on my career as um. Uh, it was something so like cringe and obviously not real. And I saw it like, get, get reported. That's online. what I'm about to say. Is it obvious it's not real? Like, isn't it pretty? Like, that's pretty like a tongue in cheek tweet. Well. We're moving into an abandoned mall to give back to my hometown. Listen, dude. There's no such thing as bad press. Here's the thing, Matt. What does LA have for us? <sighs> you know how much cheaper it would be to move back somewhere like South Carolina? Just anywhere more rural? You know how much you know how much we'd be able to save on living costs? Yeah. I mean <clears throat> we would we would definitely save some money on some living costs. Trying to find this. I could live in a nice halfway point between like Charleston nice and halfway Columbia. Like it's in a the middle of nowhere. Pelzer. <laughs> oh, some town like I'm that. I fucking go to Pelzer. <laughs> when I think of towns like that, I just like, I, I get this sudden sadness. <laughs> I know. It's like instant. It's like. <sighs> For me, I feel sad whenever I think about Chapin. 
it, yeah, it's just those little towns where it's like, God, I would fucking hate to live there. But they have really good barbecue in Chapin. And that's where I used to play, uh, like, Little League Baseball in Chapin. No disrespect to anyone listening that lives in Pelzer or Chapin. <laughs> of course, but... I mean, come on. Come, come on, on. Come on. What you got in Pelzer? Actually, uh, there was an entire meme, uh, or a uh, creepypasta based on Pelzer. There was. <laughs> oh, wow. There was like an ARG There's more based well, in West Pelzer. I'm sorry, the most uh, the most famous city in South Carolina is still Charleston. So they nope, still they're have... moving the capital to Pelzer. No! Because Charleston has all the ghost stories, all the history, yeah. all the racism. Charleston was... Uh, well, everywhere else in South Carolina also had racism. But Charleston... That's what they sold slaves there. Didn't they sell saves, slaves in Columbia, too, at the yeah. capital? Like, in that area? Yeah. Yeah. But they brought them in in Charleston. Yes. And, uh, it, you know, it's like a historical thing now, but there's normal shops set up inside of it. Yep. And I love the tourists. market. Yeah. Well, yeah, a lot of tourists are like, do you know which way the slave market is? <laughs> Wait, do they really yeah, yeah, a lot of people that? still say like, oh yeah, down the old slave market. Really? They don't just say the market. It's, it's a lot of people say the slave market still. God damn. Like, it, oh fuck. Can I, can I, y'all can give me direction to the slave market. Charleston is pretty like. Rich in in blood, right? So yeah, that's where the Civil War started. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? I, didn't didn't we uh, used to take? Well, I did with my school. Like we took a uh, what's 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 the island called that you go off to with the fort Fort, fort Sumter? Sumter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Fort Sumter. You see the cannons and shit. This is where a bunch of brave men and women defended our. That's you know that's you know that's I never, a... I never went there. Not once. Really? And I'm from Charleston. Holy shit. There. Damn, there's big cannons there. There's big cannons on. on there's rubble. A, the island across Sullivan's Island. There's big cannons really there too. Butt hurt. Why they Why they leave it? I don't know, dude. I guess it's pretty. It's it's on. It's honestly pretty cool. It's history. But like, wouldn't you rather have like a GameStop or a Pizza Hut or something? The problem is, is you you have to take a boat there every time. Well, oh, that would be the fucking attraction. Go on Pizza Hut on uh, Pizza you Hut have to Island. Pay to get on a boat. Go to go to fucking CC's Pizza Island. Now nah, I would be all for that. Shoney's Island. I'd be for Pete, CC's Pizza Island. Or just a Waffle House on the middle of the fucking. Dude, that'd be ocean. so fucking cool. Imagine during a storm, how cool that would. And be. And they have a little under like area, so you like go downstairs, and then you can see like all the shit, and then it breaks, and you know. this is like Minecraft. It sounds like a, like a Minecraft idea. Yeah, Damn. which uh, I'm, I'm about to call you out. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready for the for the Reddit post about it too, Matt. <sighs> uh, it's hard to prank a brother when he's nowhere around to be pranked. You're right, man. I haven't been streaming. Maybe something's already happened. Did you fucking prank me? Maybe something's already happened. I need to get. I just haven't set up my streaming setup at, at the office because right because right now when I'm staying there, I know this is an excuse, but because uh, I'm moving around in the Airbnb, which is one room, mm -hmm. literally with just a bed and a bathroom. Uh, it's like in a shed that someone renovated, pretty much. But basically, like that, and then we. I think also just the past two weeks, we've been working so much every day. It's like, I don't want to. Yeah. That when I get home, I'm like, eh. but I feel like if I have more days where I don't have that much to do, I would stream. But also right now I just kind of have just been lazy and not thought about setting up the whole thing again at the office just for downloading week everything again week. I would have to take it back down. Yeah. So it's like, should I just hold off and just start again when I have my setup back at home or should I do some now? Just work uh, at your own pace, whatever you're comfortable I want to stream because I, you know, I started this server and I'm nowhere to be found. <laughs> The newspapers in Columbia are going crazy about it. Are they? They're saying they're saying they're moving, Matt Watson hasn't been on the Epic S and P in a few days. They are saying that. They're fact, re they're really upset. It was on the fact front that page. I'm saying that. Yeah, and I'm scared that they're going to start putting out the, these hit piece columns on me. Uh, when it, when it, it's like it's been a month and he hasn't been on the Epic S and P. Dude, it's only been like eleven days. Has it been eleven days? It's been a while. Been counting? No, I went to your vods, and I was like. When did Matt last stream? Because, because I was wrong. I thought I thought you hadn't seen like you hadn't been there since like the building of the train or the wall or anything. But you've seen all that. You took a ride on the train. Yeah, I took a ride on the train. Fun, fun, fun shit. Crazy shit. I I got to get back on. I just I'm in this weird limbo right now where I just like, just got to get comfortable back in your zone. I want also my streaming setup is really uncomfortable, which I think deters me from streaming a lot. Mm -hmm. So when I get back, I'm gonna try to work on setting up a better streaming setup in my room so streaming is like oh yeah. yeah get some like lights and some like a better chair and get a better positioning for my camera shit like that fucking hunter of meat canyon fame told me that 
<laughs> where I stream, like in my webcam area, he's like, it looks so, I think his words were, it looks so goddamn uncomfortable, dude. It does. <laughs> it looks like you're pushed I'm, into a dark corner. <laughs> and like, I, I mean, it is in the corner of the room, but it's a, it's a, it's a decent sized room. And there's, it's a high ceiling. No, it is. It's just because the lights are always off and it's so dark. I like it being dark. No, I know. <laughs> I, I like the way it looks. It just looks like you're like pushed into a little corner. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a little fucking goblin. Like someone's trying to make our webcam like that big. <laughs> I did that on my first stream. Everyone was really saying, small. everyone was like, change the size of the webcam, like meaning bigger. So I just made it like that big. <laughs> and I was like five minutes of that. I got I got a bunch of people in my last stream like why isn't it up in the top left or right corner why isn't it in a corner I think some people maybe uh, may not like a webcam when it's not in a corner but I like mine where no, it I is. see a lot of streamers with it in, in on left or right center yeah but mine's like purposely no if I say it people is it just it's gonna bother people is it just in a bad position just thrown. No, it's not. Dude, just I should put thrown. mine over like the, the where the inventory is. I just like putting mine slightly below center, so I don't I don't like it centered on the, on like a on a screen. I like it slightly below. It's your stream, man. People people get mad about that. Get over it, snowflakes. And they can go perform auto fellatio upon themselves. <laughs> yeah, they will. Oh, uh, Hunter also put us in his new Minecraft card. I saw in Markiplier. Put yeah, us with Markiplier. Markiplier two thousand twenty thousand. <laughs> Sorry, to twenty thousand. Markiplier 20,000. <laughs> He's always, I'm so fucking jealous of his ability just in terms of like work ethic because he fucking grinds. Him and Ethan. Yeah. They put our asses to shame in 2020. And in 2021 currently. I mean, Hunter's <laughs> still fucking pushing hey, that Ethan's shit Ethan's taking baby. a whole month off. True. And, uh. Wait, Eve? Yeah, Eve. Eve's taking a whole month the off? Eve. He listens to our podcast every episode still. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah? Oh, well, watch this. If if you fucking listen to our if if you Every fucking episode. listen to our podcast, then and no fans can be oh, oh you should respond don't 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 tell them uh, you should send me a little DM you should send me a little <laughs> spicy DM in fact I'll make it specific send me your favorite spicy uh, Shrek meme dude oh god has that episode gone out yet what episode where we talked about instructed people to make that subreddit. For the drawings of Ethan's penis? I don't know. Did that ever... Did we cut that? Did I don't know where that is. I don't know if that's went out or anything. What if... What if we ruin his life? Because... Well, I don't know. Guys, this has ruined me. <laughs> it, it's all I'm associated with now. It's penises. <laughs> well, I mean... If it was cut, then that was just a rant. You sound like a fucking deranged lunatic. No, I'm not. Because you remembered it. No, I don't. <laughs> not much, dude. I don't have to poop right now, but I do feel my bowels formulating a little uh, cylinder of uh, a little formula five hundred. Well, why don't you say we uh, wrap this bad boy on up like a Christmas present? Okay, not Christmas, like Christmas in little, February. It's gonna be a long time till Christmas. This Bitch. episode comes out on YouTube on my twenty fifth birthday too. Oh, on I just realized on the fifth. Mm -hmm. Exactly on the fifth. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay, because it's a Friday. Nice my birthday's on a Friday this year, and I can't do anything. I'll I'll, uh, I'll 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 get you something, you know. I'll get Doesn't you that suck something. though? Like, people always want their birthday to be on a weekend, so it's like you can you can celebrate. You know, people Do don't have to worry about work. Yeah, and it's like finally my birthday is on a Friday, but because of the pandemic, n no people are quarantining or you can't go out. I would love to go to some bars. I would, nope, can't do it. Ugh, tough titties, white boy. What See the ya. Fuck?